IJ DM here and yeah you can see my shadow and it is later at night and I'm gonna do another video I'm gonna do a part four on this I think I did a part one two and uh, I'm not really sure I don't really keep track of my YouTube stuff again this is just hanging out and doing stuff and I do this for fun if it leads to more subscriptions and maybe and I do have a a patreon account if it, if it leads to, to if it leads to more yeah this would be part yeah. part three if it leads to more things with patreon and subscribers and some type of sponsorship then yeah heck yeah I'd do this full time and, and just hang out and do this and if you want and if you want to make a comment like hey you know produce these a little better or whatever but again I produced a lot of stuff in my day and it it just becomes a thing you get tired when you get home and I do this just for fun and I do it totally gorilla style I've said it many times in my other videos if you haven't had a chance to check some of those out please do some may not interest you some may so just take a look through on the playlist the playlist is part of my main channel which will be um, it's it the IJDM is a playlist of my main channel which will be spun off eventually into its own thing if I hit 100 episodes and I'm nearing 80 now as of this point but this is a probably almost a nearly a back-to-back -back, except for maybe a video or two in between back to the Anycast because my call out worked and let me just move a few things around here I got this in the mail from I believe Spain and yes I blocked out the names for obvious reasons because I am strict about anonymity and I even asked the person I said do you you know I offered them a, a co-producer sponsorship because this meant a lot to me because it's it's one of the, the the first things I've I've received in the mail that it's like oh wow somebody stepped up and helped me and sent this halfway from around the country and I guess it took them hours to clone this now I'm gonna be honest on this I opened this package earlier because I just wanted to double check because it goes through x-rays and stuff like that and this I didn't want this to be pointless I already actually did clone this drive just in case anything happens because I don't want to have to be like emailing them tomorrow and be like yeah guess what happened can you send me another one so I do have another copy of exact clone copy of what he sent me and uh, yeah here we go and uh, we'll just open this up and he's got his card there I'm not sure but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to his company though it's uh, atrium based out of Spain I hope I'm saying that right atrium atrium I I'm not great with with that but uh, if you need some production he does do uh, it appears to be he does live production to uh, what we call uh, in the US we call it uh, live production and capture or live streaming and capture so he, he does do that and uh, I've seen a few of his things and uh, some neat stuff and he recommended I get this little doohickey which is this and I know some people may be commenting saying you probably should use the CFast card or, or whatever I'm working on that I just got to get a hold of a 64 gigabyte one because the cloning process it has to be the same exact size of the card I'm cloning I haven't figured a way around that and I haven't set up a Linux system so I'm running off of Windows but I did get a successful clone after <laughs> Mr. Pio Thomas thank you and uh, yes by the way yes this thing is nearly impossible to clone and it did take me about six hours to get the clone off this card but thank you sir you are amazing um, thank you for for sending this this is this is great so let's get to it let's see what happens here and uh, again I did kind of did check it out so the first thing I want to do is put my glasses on and I think I got enough light here and get this in the right way and on these sony anycasts on the instructional on these pins that i can't get too close to the camera because i know it goes out of focus but there's one pin missing the one pin missing despite whatever adapter you're using you want to make sure that that it is on the upside not the downside some of these things are reversed from the way they they, they come and i'm not sure all of them work but this one uh, should because it's the same one he recommended so we will just carefully I do not have enough light here oh, let's just use the phone here yeah that's the way we roll on IJDM we just kind of do what we got to do and get it done sometimes I mean the Amiga didn't get done and I had some offers and some comments on it but uh, you know is what it is but I'm just happy this one 
is nearly done. And I'm going to do a full thing spread on the features on this. So we're just going to do this kind of off the cuff and just try to hook up. I have a camera sitting um, off to my side to see if that'll work. But I, I think we're good there. It looks like it's in the right spot. I do have the cover, but I'm not going to bother putting that on because, eh, why bother? It's not going to, nothing's going to happen to it out here. And first thing we need to do is go ahead and open the back side up and put this trusty, what I, I refer to as D power plugs. There's a figure eights. So there's different ones we, we have nicknames for in the industry. It just depends on where you work and where you're from. And apparently, oh, I got it. You ever notice that you try to do it from the back end and you just kind of like, what? I can't figure out where that goes. So I'll open this up. My wife's like, my wife today was like laughing, like, you got the card to you got the card today. You're gonna do a video tonight, aren't you? I'm like, yes, I'm gonna do a video. So let's open this back up again and see what happens. The card's in there, power's connected, we should be good to go. So I'm just gonna be quiet for a minute and just let this happen. I'm just gonna kind of yeah, maybe I'll put some music in, who knows? That's where we were at before. Mm -hmm. I'll either include this or I won't. This is an outtake. I obviously maybe did not seat that right, but Strange days indeed. Edit take two. So I want to see what happened. If I include this on in the video, I didn't have it, the pins lined up quite correctly. I, hopefully I didn't screw up anything. We'll roll this. Hey, cheers. I'm just going to tilt the camera up just a little bit and screen brightness is a little high so I'm going to try to adjust that but I don't want to do too much until it finishes initializing all this but yeah there it is it is working uh, I wish I had a chime or something what was that noise that when something installed correctly on windows or something like that's what I feel like right now like yeah wow I'm actually finally seeing this thing working and starting to have a better understanding of it because this thing was quite an enigma to me it was just one of those things that was like I never got to experience it because I didn't have 25 35 whatever Sony charged for this thing it was insane they even cut their price by not even five or six thousand dollars and I can't think it would cost that much to make these things but they probably would have sold a lot, bunch more of these but the problem was with compatibility and yeah there's somebody's name <coughs> on the screen but um that could be referring to anybody anywhere because that's a pretty common name especially in the u.s so i'm gonna just leave it there and, and i hope i hope my uh I, I hope whoever you know helped me out doesn't mind that that's there because i didn't get a chance to uh go ahead and take that off the screen i i kind of left the card as it was other than changing it to the u.s and yes i did put this card in i did know it would work but uh, apparently gonna make sure that uh, card reader is lined up correctly and I could have screwed something up royal if I didn't have if I hadn't done that right but uh 
here we got an S video cable. And yeah, we're, I don't have HD cards in here. And if anybody has the HD modules for these that would like to donate them, hey, I'll take them. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to cut this part out. I'm going to go ahead and connect these up and connect up a camera and just see if we can see something on the sources other than a graphic. I could hook up a computer to the VGA port, but we're just going to do that just for this kind of run through. And then I'll, I'll tilt down so you can see all the the lights and craziness going on down here. Let's just turn all the audio channels on and get some lights going here. There we go. So let's go ahead and do this. This, of course, uh, if you've seen in other videos, if you want to check it out, I think I featured it a couple times, is the, uh, the very rare Sony SC55 8mm camera. And, uh, I think it's working. Yeah, yeah, appears to be working. Oh, no, the battery's going dead. Well. <laughs> and back, yes, I got a, another battery pack. And uh, let's go ahead and see if this one lasts a little longer or maybe this camera's going wonky on me. Hopefully not, because okay, it's definitely on. I know moisture can set it off and we're here in uh florida it's it's uh west central florida and it is oh god it's late september it's still humid as all heck so i mean not humid enough where it's going to affect the gear if i brought it out and get condensation or whatever but it's still one of those things that like you have to kind of deal with living in this state all right well i'm gonna put this thing i'm just kind of Put it right there. Hopefully, I don't knock it off the table because apparently I can't find another one of those cameras. So we're gonna go in the menu system, and it's down here. There's a bunch of different buttons, and uh, we'll go ahead and I think it's more interesting to look at the screen, which I will try to dim that out a little bit or try to do something with it in post. But uh, let's see if we can just go into system now. Uh, display. There we go. Yeah, LCD backlight. Let's just bring that down. Yeah, I probably should have had time, but I wasn't really thinking. And yeah, that's the way we roll on these these kind of things. So let's change the input on this. And if I'm gonna guess, hmm, what do we go to here? What's well, video output? Video input is sign. So I would imagine this is the first card and the first slot. So I think we'll keep the source the same, but let's see if we can change it. Slot one to S video. Okay. Well, that was easy. I did not expect it to be that easy. So let's punch that up on preview. And there is the camera on there. Yeah working and it actually is 16 by 9 which I'm actually surprised and I mean, just looking at this camera through this thing it doesn't look half bad I'm actually quite amazed I don't know if it's scrunching the picture or doing something weird with it, it looks a little maybe stretched or something I don't know yeah but it, it, it's totally working I, I didn't hook up audio and I didn't bring out an audio cable but uh, yeah oh and that's uh, well, well while we got this up and I'll tilt the camera down but uh there's the current light configuration and let's take a look at the the lower part here and just kind of there we go yeah it's a shadow here you're not missing much with this this keyboard as i showed in the past it does this attach it takes two uh 2032 batteries and uh, i'm just kind of kind of leave it in there and then this is where you punch and then go through the camera so if I pan up and get rid of the keyboard a little bit, you'll kind of see it's hard to get everything in a frame. Let's just back this up just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, we are totally just kind of whatever tonight on this video. And uh, yeah, I can just punch through the preview sources. So there's the camera. And then if I punched up, you know, that person's name. <laughs> Funny, I used to live in the Syracuse area. I, I believe uh, they had a car dealership. And I believe one of the owner's names was Bill Burdick, <laughs> which was... Kind of a weird coincidence if if uh, he's a VP of education somewhere, but that is a very common name in the U.S. Trust me. But uh, and uh, Bill, if you don't want this on the video, well, I'm gonna have to blank this out and do a bunch of edits and or remove it. But uh, and, and uh, P.O. Thomas, if I'm, I'm sorry if if I gave away too much on that, I was trying not to, but uh, 
Yeah, you can punch through your sources. You can see all the lights going on here. And this is your audio channels, turn them on and off. And then here's where you change the graphics. And I don't want to put anybody else's graphic up because I don't know if their name's more recognizable than, than the other. And again, I protect, protect anonymity here, but I, I'm, I'm trying to be care, as careful as I can. I, I didn't expect that, but I'm just going to kind of roll with this. And if there is an issue with it, I will take this video down and repost it and, and wait a few days and, and maybe do a, a better one. But uh, yeah, we are up and running on this. Can you believe it? So the thing is here, you're going to ask, and there may be a few people watching this video like, oh, uh, heck, I bought one of these units. It doesn't have the OS. Um, do not contact the person that sent it to me. Please do not bother him. I said his company name just in consideration. Do not bother him. He's a very busy person. Contact me, and when I get around to it, I'll, I'll, I'll hook you up. But I got to go through, and I still got to scrub because he had some of his stuff in there so i have to scrub all that off of the clone before i clone the drive again and and make sure everything is good and clean that doesn't have anybody else's material on it and it's yeah it's working and if anybody has any other suggestions on this unit I'll, i think in a future video i'm going to do one more just covering all the features now that i can actually do it do more with audio and do more with certain things with this unit and the different functions on it and how the the ds key dsk excuse me ds key D dsk which is the downstream key how that works uh when you're adding graphics and, and such but uh that'll do it for this ijdm yes the sony cast is alive and running and running great and again if you have any hd modules you want to you know oh man i got one of those laying in a warehouse some hey send them to me i mean you know these you could sell them on eBay for $150, $200. Nobody's going to spend $600 on them. Let's get that out of the way. I've seen them on eBay. They're $600. It's not worth it. Us collectors, we're not, we're not falling that, for that anymore. We're not falling for these inflated prices on video games and older tech. We're not falling for more. Don't even try. It's, it's not going to work. I, I fell for it the first retro when I started getting into this stuff again. I fell for it on my first laptop, but I'm not doing it ever again because there's no reason why this stuff should be marked up to ridiculous prices. Oh, it's rare. Well, no, not really because people are finding these in warehouse. Sometimes, I guarantee you somewhere in the world, there's one of these Sony Anycast systems that are sitting there that's brand new in box with the HD cards. I guarantee it. So it's And then there's probably like 30 of them. So... And if you find them, then don't go and try to sell them on eBay for $1,000 a piece. They're not worth that. It's it's being ridiculous. These units are are still functional, still work for people. But, I mean, technology, as you've seen from other videos, has moved on to a different era. But this is something more mechanical and computer. It's like almost like a mix between the two before it went all to like a computer age technology where you can do iPads and, and do laptops and stuff like that. It was just that that technology wasn't around to have something compact like this other than, I mean, really those, those old production units, even the ones that came in like the suitcase form were even just humongous. And this thing, even though it's heavy and it's, it's bulky, it, it, it does, it did serve a purpose. And it was definitely one of the landmarks in my opinion of moving on with technology and Sony had the right idea. It just wasn't executed the way they should have done it with compatibility and then, Obviously, you're trying to buy an older one like I did and trying to find the operating system. We'll see you next time on IJDM. If you like this video, hit subscribe. If you didn't like the video, then hit hate or dislike or whatever it's called. Or if you like the video, hit like. Whatever. You know. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.